Hello and welcome to the Red5 Developer Series. My name is Dominic Agatado and I'm the CTO and one of the founders of Infrared5. In this uh, part of the series what we're going to do is talk about the client-side remote shared objects. Now as you know um, or don't know, shared objects can be created on the client and it can also be created on the server so um, sometimes you might have a use case where you don't need security on that shared object and you might just want to create it in the client. Uh, that's what we're going to do in this series. Um, later on in a future, uh, future time, we're going to go over creating remote shared objects on the server and, and show you how you can secure them. For the time being though, let's go to um, the live docs at Adobe and check out the shared object class. Um, the thing that we're interested in here is, uh, is to store and share data on a flash media server um, because a shared object can also be used for storing data locally uh, on your computer. Um, and in this case, we're going to use sharedobject.getRemote. So let's go to that method. And you can see that getRemote takes um, four, five uh, arguments. One is uh, name, uh, remote path, which is typically your connection's URI, uh, whether you want it to be persistent or not, um, and uh, secure. So for persistence, um, if you want your shared object to maintain its state um, after you've restarted Red5, then you want to you want to set that to true by because by default it's on false. So let's go to get remote, and here you see the method and a little bit of, a snippet of code here. So what this is doing is creating a new net connection, uh, connecting to a uh, RTMP server. And then what we do is we create a re remote shared object using a static method called get remote, uh, passing in the name of the shared object, uh, passing in the remote path, which is your connection's URI, and saying uh, false for uh, persistence. And then you just do a remote shared object dot connect. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to set up event listeners. So what the remote shared object is going to do is dispatch events of type sync event. So if you go to events and you uh, you see the sync event here, uh, it's dispatched when a remote shared object has been updated by the server. Uh, click on sync. Okay, so they have another example down below on how to uh, use shared objects as well. So now we're going to go over to my uh, example application that we've been working with throughout this series. Uh, what you see here is uh, the MyApp client, uh, which is a Flex project. The MyApp is a server-side uh, Java project that we discussed in an earlier series, uh, part of the series. And then we have our Red5 server down here. Um, so what I've already done is uh, started Red5 in debug mode. Um, and now I've got two examples to show you in terms of remote shared objects. I've got a slot example and a multi-slot example. Um, the difference between the two is that uh, shared objects have uh, slots and you can you place objects in those slots and for very simple things like a shared ball you only need one slot but if you have like for instance uh, a number of objects that need to be, need to be uh, you know uh, moving around you might use a multi-slot example so uh, let me run these two just to show you what I'm what we're working with here So I've got a, a logo, and it's an uh, infrared 5 logo, and if I take one of them and I move it around, you can see that I am updating that shared object. And if I move it, uh, that one, sure enough, they're both they're in sync. So let me show you the multi-slot example. So this is your... your cliche uh, fridge magnet example here. So if I wanted to, uh, for instance, uh, spell my name, I would just, you know, grab a few letters. Dominic. Okay. Let's see. I thought you really needed to see my name, but you can see that it's updating in uh, in both instances. Okay, so um, let's first uh, go back to the original example, 
and we'll talk about the code. All right, so um, we're dealing with two network classes here. Uh, one of them is a connection, and the other one is a remote shared object. I like to name mine RSO for remote shared object. We've also got uh, some uh, properties for logic, such as dragging, because when you're dragging the instance around, you want to be able to maintain, uh, you know, what state it's in. So here's this guy. If I'm pulling him around, oops. I guess I can't have both examples running at the same time right now. I must be using maybe the same slot. So, oops. so as you're pulling him around, you want to, you know, maintain whether it's dragging or not. So a few of the events that we're going to be want to place on this uh, logo are like mouse down which then starts the dragging, mouse up, stops dragging, and, um, and mouse move, which actually sets the remote shared object. <clears throat> the other thing about this class is that I have a image embedded in here, and uh, the image is located in assets, images, and there it is. Uh, that, that embed tag directly uh, uh, affects the property right below it, so we have a class which is representing the infrared 5 logo and then I need a UI component to be able to uh, add it to the flex display list. Uh, inside my on creation complete event which is um, uh, dispatched because I've uh, set up the event on the application uh, what I'm doing is I'm creating the connection and then I'm creating the uh, remote shared object and I'm passing in a string coordinates which is uh, which is going to be filled, uh, and it's going to be representing one slot inside of the remote shared object. And then I just set up my event listener for the on sync, and I connect to the connection. Okay. Uh, down here, I'm just instantiating the embedded asset, adding it to the display list, and setting those event listeners for mouse down and mouse up that I mentioned earlier. Okay. So the on sync method, uh, all that's doing is uh, when this gets hit, we are sent in a sync event object which has a change list property. In the change list property, we can uh, we can loop through uh, the change list and pull out a change object. Uh, the change object has a property called code, and that will either be success or change. So if you're the client who's actually changing the remote shared object data, you'll receive a success. Um, however, if another client is changing it, you'll get a change um, uh, code. And at that point, what you can do is you can grab the remote shared object's data, um, passing in the name of the um, property that was changed. In this case, it's going to represent coordinates, because remember, we, we have this slot up here called coordinates. So I pull out that coordinates object, and all I'm doing is I'm taking that uh, image, and I'm moving it around the stage using the coordinates.x and coordinates.y. Uh, the one other thing we want to do is uh, check out the on mouse down, on mouse up and on mouse move. So in the mouse down we set dragging to true and we start dragging the uh, the embedded asset uh, and at that point we add the mouse move because we want to be able to also uh, be able to change the shared object when the uh, person is dragging that object. Uh, on mouse up just sets dragging to false it stops the dragging and it removes the mouse move event uh, and then on mouse move is where the magic happens right so um, if if it's dragging, whoops, if it's dragging, what we're doing is we're taking um, the uh, the coordinates uh, x and y, and we're just uh, setting the remote shared object's coordinates slot, slot with that object. So we've created a you know uh, anonymous object right here, and we've just uh, set the coordinates slot with that object. And then later on in the on sync when this comes down, we just grab it and we move our objects around. So we'll run it one more time just to show what happens. Alright, oops. And there we are. Okay, since, um, since our, our videos are being kept to 10 minutes, what I'm going to have to do is go over the multi-slot example in part two of uh, the remote shared objects. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk to you then.